Suppose that Q is the production function of two variables, capital K and labor L. Marginal product is derived from the production function as a partial derivative of Q with respect to L. Average product is derived from the production function as Q over L. Average product measures output per worker for all workers, while marginal product measures output per worker for the last worker hired. Here are the graphs of marginal product and average product for a given production function. The horizontal axis measures the amount of labor. Adding more workers to fixed capital initially increases marginal product. Because marginal product is greater than average product, the extra productive marginal worker pulls up the average product of the team. Marginal product peaks at L1, but average product continues to increase as long as this marginal worker is more productive than the other workers on the team. Beyond L2, the last worker is less productive than the average worker, so the average product gets pulled down. Consider the function f of two variables, x and y. To maximize or minimize f, there are four steps that we need to follow. Step 1. Find the partial derivative of f with respect to each variable. Step 2. Solve for the points x, y such that the partial derivatives of f at each point equals 0 or does not exist. These are called the critical values of f. Step 3. Find the second order partial derivatives of f. Step 4. Let d be a function of x and y such that d equals fxx times fyy minus fxy squared. Note that fxx is just the second order partial derivative of f with respect to x twice. Evaluate d and the second order partial derivative fxx for each critical value. If d is positive and the second order partial derivative is negative, then f has a relative maximum at that point. If the second order partial derivative is positive, then f has a relative minimum at that point. This is called the second derivative test. Let's look at an example. Let p be a production function given by 0.54 l squared minus 0.02 l cubed plus 1.89 k squared minus 0.09 k cubed, where k and l are the amounts of capital and labor respectively and P is the quantity of output produced. Find the values of K and L that maximize P. Notice that P is a function of two variables K and L. To maximize P, we need to follow the four steps. Step 1. Find the first order partial derivatives of F with respect to each variable. The partial derivative of F with respect to K is 3.78K minus 0.27K squared. The partial derivative of f with respect to l is 1.08l minus 0.06l squared. Step 2. Find the critical values of f. The first order partial derivatives equals 0 when 3.78k minus 0.27k squared equals 0, and when 1.08l minus 0.06l squared equals 0. Factoring the left-hand side of both of the equations, we have 0.27k times 14 minus k equals 0, and 0.06l times 18 minus l equals 0. So the first order partial derivatives equals 0 when k equals 0 or k equals 14, and when l equals 0 or l equals 18. Note that the first order partial derivatives of f are never undefined, so we do not have to worry about finding critical values where they do not exist. Since k can be 0 or 14, and l can be 0 or 18, we have four possible options. So the critical values are 00, 018, 14, 0, and 14, 18. Step 3. Find the second order partial derivatives of f. fkk equals 3.78 minus 0.54k. fll equals 1.08 minus 0.12l fkl equals 0. Step 4. Recall that d equals fkk times fll minus fkl squared. Evaluate d and f at each critical value. For the critical value 0, 0, we have that d equals 3.78 minus 0 0.54 times 0 times 1.08 minus 0 0.12 times 0 minus 0 squared. This equals 4.0824 fkk equals 3.78 minus 0.54 times 0. This equals 3.78.
Since 4.0824 is positive and 3.78 is positive, f has a relative minimum at 0, 0. For the critical value 0, 018, d equals 3.78 minus 0 0.54 times 0 times 1.08 minus 0 0.12 times 18 minus 0 squared. This equals negative 4.0824. Since d is less than 0, f does not have a relative maximum or minimum at 0, 018. For the critical value 14, 0, d equals 3.78 minus 0 0.54 times 14 times 1.08 minus 0 0.12 times 0 minus 0 squared. This also equals negative 4.0824. Since d is less than 0, f does not have a relative maximum or minimum at 14, 0. For the critical value 14, 18, d equals 3.78 minus 0 0.54 times 14 times 1.08 minus 0 0.12 times 18 minus 0 squared. This equals 4.0824. FKK equals 3.78 minus 0 0.54 times 14. This equals negative 3.78. Since 4.0824 is positive and negative 3.78 is negative, F has a relative maximum at 1418. Therefore, the maximum output is obtained when K equals 14 and L equals 18. Here's an exercise that you can try. Remember to pause the video before checking your solution. Good luck! Here's another exercise that you can try. Remember to pause the video before checking your solution. Good luck! 